That's a good shot. I always think the on-drive is one of the most difficult shots to perfect in cricket. Well, he's gone after that. It's a big hit. Sails uh, over the sight screen for six. That's woken the crowd up. Smashed away over mid-wicket. Well, if they had any doubts about taking the new ball, that might have just persuaded them. It's 285 for six. It's a good shot, that. Takes Andrew Flint off to 50. Ball and driven straight down the ground. Good shot, Bumble. It is a good shot, and almost no emotion from Andrew Flint off. There we are. That's as, that's as good as you're going to get. You realise that they've not played well in this game. It's a personal milestone for Flintoff as he's moved on to 50. England dressing room comes alive and just appreciates what he's done out there. Overpitched and smashed down the ground, four runs. Doesn't miss there. They give him the drive ball, he'll definitely have a go. Flintoff goes for it, and that sails uh, into the uh, crowd. That's another six. Pulled away. Adams it won't get that. Boundary's coming thick and fast. That's uh, sailed into the crowd again. That's gone even further. That's 20 rows back from Andrew Flintoff. Another towering six. The crowd are loving this. Graham Smith uh, drops a few yards deeper at, to mid-off. Shouldn't Teeny pitch the ball up? That's away. That won't uh, reach the boundary this time on the uh, full. One bounce over the rope. Four more to Flintoff. He's on to 77. Ten fours and three sixes. Another one bounce for this time over the uh, cover field. Flintoff, 84 not out. He goes to T undefeated. Thanks, Bob. It's uh, clubbed down the ground. We'll go to the boundary. So Andrew Flintoff. Well, he's on 96 and he's facing Antini. That'll do. That's the hundred. It's a long up on leg stump and it is smacked away. Andrew Flintoff goes on to 100. And it's been a highly entertaining one. This crowd have thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, that's been carved away. Gone behind square on the offside for yet another boundary for Andrew Flintoff. There goes another one. That's massive. Well, that's almost a unique shot for a test match. It's the sort of thing you'd see uh, happily in one-day cricket towards the closing overs of a one-day innings. <laughs> no wonder it's brought smiles to their faces. Well, how far has that gone? Far enough. How much longer can he continue to entertain the crowd like this? Great shot. And actually a very fine effort down there. On that deep cover boundary, but that was a glorious shot. It's another fabulous shot. <laughs> Cleared him, Adams is the man down there. It is just boundary followed by boundary, followed by boundary. With that, Sean Pollock has also reached his century. 
He has 28.4 overs, two for 103. This is great hitting. Now there's a man back in a deep square leg, but Flintoff has found the gap. Very positive batting from a, a man in excellent touch. There we go, that's what he's been looking for. Directed straight at the man at deep mid-wicket, but fortunately for England, it sailed yards over his head. There it is, here's 50. Good half century for Andrew Flintoff, his 13th in one of the internationals. Now there's a man back at long on, but he's got no chance. That has been clubbed away by Andrew Flintoff. Huge from Flintoff. Wow, that's a good shot. He's got that wrong, and it will clear long on. Not the Yorker that Bravo was trying for, just short. In the slot for Flintoff, and he's hit another maximum. Eyeing up that mid-wicket boundary. Now that, for Flintoff, is a plink. It's an inside edge, and it's still gone for four. It's gone all the way for six, Freddie Flintoff has a hundred back-to-back -back centuries in one-day internationals for England. More of the same. Now he could be caught, and he is, but the man has stepped over the rope. I don't think you have to worry about the rope in this one, though. That's a massive strike. Gone. Hit in the air to Gully. Flintoff's the man. All oh, catch. Gone. Gone, yes. Strauss claims the catch. Philip Hughes stands there. Hesitates, but he's gone. Outside edge and gone. What a start. Flintoff again. England's man, not for much longer, but for today. Can't leave those alone. Little fuller this time from Andrew Flintoff. Coming back in, down the slope. There we go. There we go. The king is struck. First time since 1934, England beat Australia at Lords, and the celebrations begin.